am going to record uh, the first part of our presentation. Uh, this will just be for folks to come when they are new members. We'll throw it up on our YouTube. If you don't want to be featured, feel free to turn your camera off. That's totally fine. Uh, for folks who are just joining us, my name is Aurora Grant Wingate. I work for the National Association of Community Health Workers, or we often call it NACHWA for short, as their member and partner engagement associate, and I am based in Boston, Massachusetts. I am going to host the first part of the call today, just introducing NACHWA and our history, and then I'm going to hand it over to some of our staff, uh, both uh, new and returning, to introduce themselves. So let's get started. So NACHWA is still a fairly young organization. We are coming up on about three years old. We have come together after decades of community health workers across the country looking for one unifying organization to work on professional development, uh, capacity building and advocacy for the workforce. Our vision is to see community health workers united nationally to support communities in achieving health equity and social justice. Uh, we are in first and foremost a membership organization, as I'm sure you all know, because we're doing a new member webinar today. Uh, we really work to engage CHWs and their allies, supporters, partners, sponsors, uh, to expand our membership, to expand recognition for the workforce, expand opportunities for CHWs, and to organize for collective action. We want to enhance CHWs' leadership skills and their opportunities to be in positions of leadership. And we want to educate stakeholders on the impact and importance of CHWs. Uh, we also want to establish a natural, national voice uh, and work on sustainable strategies for the CHW workforce. Before I go much further, uh, one thing we always like to go over is that we use community health worker or CHW as an umbrella term for the many, many different job titles we know that community health workers hold, such as promotora de salud, community health representatives or CHRs uh, who often work on tribal nations under Indian Health Services, uh, peer support specialists, outreach workers, and many, many other job titles. Nachwa is very excited to announce that we now have membership in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. This just happened this past fall. Uh, we are incredibly pleased. This is just a map to demonstrate our membership. The states that are highlighted in green are places where we have the most membership. So as you can see, places like uh, Texas and California, Illinois, uh, and so on and so forth are where we have the most members. And those are also states that have very strong CHW um, infrastructure organizations uh, and so on and so forth. We want to introduce our board. So NACHWA is governed by a board of directors. As you can see here, they come from all over the United States. Uh, they represent many different uh, parts of the workforce. We have promotoras, we have community health representatives who are members of tribal nations. Uh, we also have allies who might be professors or researchers. Uh, so we have a really great diverse board. You'll often see them on some of our webinars and calls. You can also learn more about them on our website. Uh, most of them have their bios up there. It's really interesting to see all the great work they've done. These are people who have been working uh, to advance CHWs for most of them decades of their lives. So it's just really great to read about. Uh, so many of you are here because you are new members or maybe you're returning members, but maybe wanna learn about new resources that NACHWA is now providing. Uh, so we want to say that you can now connect with 1,300 fellow members across the country through NACHWA's member-only directory. Uh, if you don't know how to get to the member portal or this directory, Bernadine, our communications associate, is going to take us through that later in the presentation. Uh, we now offer a members-only newsletter. Uh, we just started that last month. So in addition to the regular newsletter that anyone can sign up to, now members are going to get a special newsletter with some of those member-only opportunities. 
we have curated uh, a CHW policy documents in our new CHW Document Resource Center. Uh, that is the largest collection of CHW documents that we know of in the United States. There you can go to to read about research that has been done on CHWs, uh, lots of legislate, legislature and policy briefs, um, and so much more. And on the subject of policy, Nachua last year in 2021 also put out their first uh, national policy platform. Uh, we are going to actually currently be in the process of updating it. Uh, so also stay tuned for some of those events, but you can also access that on our website. It can be a great resource for people if they are working to pass legislation or advocate for something on behalf of the CHW workforce. And we now have that available in English and Spanish. We also have a curated list of, uh, of COVID-19 resources for CHWs. And I'll talk a little bit more later in my presentation about some of the work we have done around COVID-19. Uh, we, we also offer uh, benefits for organizations who might like to partner with us. If that's something you might be interested in, in uh, doing with us, please visit our partner page. You can learn about some of the resources we have and also ask to have a meeting with us one on one to see how we can find the resources that you really need. We also always want to be plugging that each year, Natua has a yearly conference. We call this the Unity Conference. Uh, it's going to be virtual again this year as it has been for the past two years. Uh, it will once again be in July or August this summer. We don't have the direct date yet, but please stay tuned. Bernadine and I today have on our Unity Conference t-shirts uh, to start getting people excited for the summer. Uh, this is a great opportunity to connect with CHWs across the country. Last summer, we had over 800 folks attend our conference from across the country. We had over a dozen workshops, several keynotes and round tables. Uh, so please stay tuned for that. That information will be coming out in all our newsletters, on our website, and in any presentations you uh, might come of ours in the next couple months. Uh, this is also a new membership benefit is the Notchwa Learning Collaborative. So this is a new event Notchwa started just last fall. We were getting a lot of requests from members to have more spaces uh, to come together around certain communities or identities or communities folks might be serving in their work. We sent out a poll to our membership on what groups they would like to see for these initial collaboratives. And these are the five that folks um, came back with. So one around mental health, one for immigrants and refugees, one for Spanish speaking promotoras, one for CHW organizational leaders, and one for community health representatives. Um, these collaboratives have met twice now. We've been doing them around a quarterly basis. Uh, and we come together around broad topics that folks might like to get more resources on or just come together and hear a sympathetic ear. Our first one in October was really just an introduction and also to get feedback for us on what could make this most successful. And then just a couple weeks ago in January, we had our second one uh, where we talked a little bit about self-care and mental health. And we're gonna be putting together some resources based on what we learned uh, for folks soon. We are now working on putting together our next one, which is going to be March 24th. Uh, we don't have the registration ready yet, but it should be out soon, so please save that date. We also offer various resources for CHW networks. Uh, for folks that might not know, uh, CHW networks are organizations similar to Nachua. Uh, on the state or local level. They're organizations led by or co-led by community health workers whose mission and activities focus on CHW membership, networking, policy, advocacy, and workforce development. If you're not already a member of your local or state association, I definitely recommend you go to our website and look to see if your state has a CHW network. 
those can be great places for connecting to CHWs in your area, getting job announcements and trainings and so much more. Um, but we also often offer resources for these CHW networks. Um, we have a webinars around national surveys that we've done and other things CHW networks need, and also some resources around folks who might be interested in establishing their own CHW network. Oh, this is a little bit more about the Notwa Document Resource Center, and Bernadine will show you that in a little while. Notwa also does a lot of work around CHW policy. This is, you can see the sort of range of different reports we have put out, and roughly, I think these are all in sort of the last year or so. Uh, reports on statewide training approaches for CHWs, assessing the community health worker workforce at the state and local level, sustainable financing, and uh, some results on a survey we did on what CHWs would like to see from their employers during the pandemic. And this is where we wanna talk about some of our work around COVID-19. So as I mentioned, Nachwa is a young organization that has largely come up in the context of the pandemic. So much of our work has been remote uh, and we know that so many CHWs are on the front lines of pandemic response. Uh, in order to lift up the great work that CHWs are doing, we created a COVID-19 webpage with resources for CHWs and communities. Um, we have been gathering data on CHWs and their experiences and their needs and using that data to advocate for national policy and building capacity uh, so CHWs can um, better serve their communities. And we really want to center CHWs as leaders to improve COVID-19 emergency response. Uh, something we always hear over and over again is that to fight COVID-19, we need trusted messengers. Um, and that's what CHWs are. So we wanna make sure that CHWs are be given the respect and the resources that they need uh, in order to fulfill that job. This is just a, a slide that really shows some of the different work we've done around COVID. Uh, we have did, done work with the American Diabetes Association. We have co-written blogs and health affairs with some of our partners. We have done various webinars on the role of community health workers in COVID-19 um, and so on and so forth. Oops, didn't mean to click that, but also it's a good time to say that at the end of the presentation, we will be sending out these slides and all these links are live. So you'll be able to access any of this information. And these are some of the resources that we have created for CHWs in COVID-19. Uh, we have various sort of one pagers around what CHWs have done during COVID-19 response. We've done a lot of briefs and advocacy around what CHWs need, um, that CHWs need funding and supplies and recognition for the great work they've done. Uh, and we are always working to create these resources in multiple languages. Uh, we know that's a request that we're often getting from folks. And I also want to talk a little bit about the COVID work that Nachua has been engaged with uh, for the last month. So as many of you might know, uh, the White House has committed to sending out 500 million at-home uh, rapid COVID tests through covidtest.gov. And um, folks right now, if you haven't already, can go on that site and order a test kit of four tests to be delivered to your home. Nachua actually worked with the White House to raise awareness of this initiative. Uh, we were able to direct people through our site to the ordering page and do some education around when folks should be doing uh, tests, um, where to find directions on how to do tests. Uh, and we know that this program is not going to work for all different communities and all different people. So we've also been trying to do education on the other testing programs that are available. Um, and we are continuing to improve this site 
and um, address these urgent testing needs that we know many community-based organizations and CHWs have. Um, so for the latest updates, please go to nachtwa.org. slash COVID tests, and you can, yes, so this is, I'm very excited to say that at the mid of December, just uh, a couple months ago, we have brought on five new staff members. Nashville went from a team of three, so we will soon be a team of nine people, so we are growing very quickly. So I'm very excited to have our staff come off um, the mute and introduce themselves and talk a little bit about the work that they are doing for Nashua. And I guess I'm up first. So uh, to talk a little bit more about what I do besides for present on new member webinars, uh, I have done a lot of work in the COVID space, working with the Vaccine Equity Cooperative or VEC, um, and also with the National COVID Resiliency Network. I also do a lot of sort of the beginning meetings with partners to help connect folks to resources. And I do a lot of our member programming like the learning collaboratives uh, and the CHW network calls. Uh, and now I'd like to hand it over to Josie. Josie, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Thank you so much for having me here. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Josie and I am in uh, as a senior operation project manager. Prior to my responsibility here at Nashua, I was uh, the director for tribal health maintenance at Kokopa Tribe. So my responsibility here as a senior operation and project manager is I, of course, as a project manager, I'm supporting one of our adult vaccination project for ASTO and also uh, supporting as a project manager, the UHC's corporate sponsorship. And internally, I am uh, facilitating as a administrative uh, uh, staff for our development committee. So that's what I'm doing right now and keeping me busy. I am so thankful and blessed to be part of this wonderful team. So welcome everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Josie. And now I'd like to invite Nashia Chowdhury, who is our new data and evaluation manager to come off mute and introduce herself. Thank you, Aurora. Um, good afternoon, everyone. So I'm really excited to be here uh, at this new member orientation. You know, we've had the opportunity to meet a lot of um, our members throughout the last couple of weeks. And so um, just taking this opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, so I joined Nachua at the same time as Josie back in December as the data and evaluation manager. Uh, prior to that, I worked at an FQHC um, community health center as the director of operations and then for the primary care association before that. Uh, so I'm here in Clinton Township, Michigan. Uh, some of the things that I'm working on, so the SOCHW workforce um, TA grant, which is focused on sustainability and long-term opportunities for CHWs um, beyond the grants that are currently made available to hire a lot of you in the work that you're doing in these community-based organizations. And so we're working very closely with ASSO and providing um, recommendations. And so hopefully that will be unfolding in the next couple of months and um, into next year as well. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also providing support to the rest of my colleagues in data analysis and evaluation. And so uh, if you start joining some of our calls and some of the other committees, you'll see me popping in and out at some of those meetings. So glad to be here and thank you all. Thank you. And next I'm gonna hand it off to Angie, who is our new CHW Network Policy and Advocacy Manager. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much for being here and for joining Nachua. Um, I'm personally very honored and excited to join Nachua as in this capacity as a staff. Um, I'm a community health worker. I have about 10 years of experience working in service to people experiencing homelessness here in Portland, Oregon, where I'm based. Um, that's part of my story. I experienced homelessness as a, an adolescent. And so um, I always like to kind of lead with that and um, I want to just say hello to everybody and show you a little bit about my job here, what I know about it. I'm still pretty new, like 
Nasha mentioned and Josie too. Um, but there's kind of three main components to my job. Um, the as my title suggests, uh, I'm going to be working with CHW network organizations a lot. So at the state and regional level, um, which is great because before I came to work here, I worked for the Oregon Community Health Workers Association. So I have some experience um, on that side of the thing of everything. Um, another part of my job is to support the work of the Natural Policy Committee. Um, and I'm also project managing our Document Resource Center, which if you haven't checked out on our website, highly recommend and know that it is a work in progress. So um, I hope to see you all at future events. Um, especially we're gonna be um, enhancing our national policy platform, which is also available on our website. I don't wanna take up too much time, but <laughs> you'll see some events in the newsletter, which is the best way to you know, find out about um, things we're doing. And I really just hope to see all you there so we can raise your voices together. Thank you, Angie. And next, I'm going to hand it off to Michaela, who is our new capacity building coordinator. Thank you, Aurora. My name is Michaela. Sorry about that. My name is Michaela. I am the new capacity building coordinator for Nachua. I am a peer and a certified community health worker. Thank you all for joining us as a member of Nachua, and we hope that if you were looking for a community of community, of community health workers, you find it right here. Uh, some of the projects that I oversee are the Nachua CHW Leader Initiative. And with that, we are investing in the authentic professional identities of community health workers across the country, uplifting the voice of culturally diverse public health professionals, and providing education and career advancement through collaboratives and webinars. So I hope that as you join us through future events that you too may take an interest in some of our CHW leadership opportunities. Um, I also support Aurora in the learning collaboratives and we have another one coming up in March. So I hope to see you all there. And I also support the Natural Workforce Development Committee. So thank you. Thank you, Michaela. And now I'm gonna hand over the webinar to Bernadine, who is our Senior Communications Associate to introduce herself and her staff member and to take us through the website. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, good to be here with all of you. And hello to Sayeri de la Rosa, who's a CHW that I had the pleasure of working with um, in my past life. So <laughs> good to see you here. Um, so again, my name is Bernadine Movingu Jeringema and I am Nacho Senior Communications Associate and I am a strong avid ally of community health workers. Um, my work is in communications. So I work on the strategic planning of marketing and communications. Um, my big uh, task that I'm working on right now is the Unity Conference. So again, if you want your shirt, come to Unity. Um, <laughs> so that uh, is planned out for June, uh, July or August. So we will be sending out our save the dates very soon. So um, as a member, you are automatically signed up to receive our newsletter as well as our members only newsletter. And so you will definitely be hearing about it. Please come. Um, it is such a wonderful event for bringing the community health worker workforce together. Um, and I also worked very recently on the White House COVID-19 initiative, um, making sure that we help get tests in the hands of those who need them. Uh, and I also work with Angie on the Document Resource Center. Next one. Um, and we have another staff member, Peter Salale, who is um, not able to join us today. Uh, Peter is our new communications assistant. And so he and I work together. Um, and so Peter works on a lot of our social media marketing. He really takes charge of that. He also works with event marketing and coordination. So when you see an event posted on our social media, that's Peter. Um, and if you ever need to reach us on our email info at nachua.org, it's often going to be Peter who is working with our members to get any issues resolved or any kind of communications done as well. So that is Peter. You will hopefully meet him at some other point. Great. And I'm going to now share my screen with everyone. And I'm going to give us a walkthrough of the Nachua website. That way everyone is able to see where you can access all of this information. 
Can everybody see my screen, which is on the natural website? All right, great. So first I'm going to start with um, natural.org slash COVID tests. So this was the page we created uh, just last month to really push out the messaging about the uh, covidtest.gov, which was the initiative to get uh, test kits into the homes of every American. Um, and so on this website, so it is slash COVID test, and this is going to be migrated. So you will, in the future, you have to type it right now, you have to type in the direct link, but in the future, you will find it under COVID-19. So just keep an eye out for that um, in like the coming days, that's where you will find it. And so right when you come onto this webpage, the first thing we do is give you access to the direct ordering site. So if you click through here, it'll take you right through to covidtest.gov. So if you are a family member or a community member that you work with or serve have not yet placed an order for your household. And again, right now you can only place one order per household. Please have them do that right away. Tests arrive within seven to 12 days and I've already received mine and I know a lot of people have started receiving theirs as well. Um, so if you come on this page, we talk about the initiative and then we also have this form. So if you are interested um, in getting more correspondence, more messages, emails from Nachua about updates to this initiative and other COVID-19 initiatives, um, educational materials, invitations to events, and even other opportunities as, as they arise, please sign up. You just put in your email, your name, and your location. Um, and we will make sure, and then we just ask, you know, if you're a CHW or an ally, and if you heard about us through any of our partner organizations, when you sign up on here and you would, you know, fill that in and hit share with Nachua, you will receive information as we get it and as we share it. So any updates to initiatives and programs, you will be sure to receive it. So I highly recommend that. Um, we also have a survey and assessment that we are asking people to take. So if you are a CHW or a CHW leader, we want to know what the needs are of our workforce. So please click on here to take the survey. And it just helps us as we continue to advocate for increased access for community health workers and our uh, populations. If we have the numbers and we can say, this is what CHWs on the ground around the country are saying they need, it just makes it much easier for us to advocate for the workforce. We also have a statement on all of our partners. Please go to their websites and learn more about them. And as you come further down here in the green area are our frequently asked questions or FAQs. So this gives general information on the program, on the initiative, and that is covidtest.gov. So if anyone has questions for you as they're going through, and you can find answers to these questions as well on covidtest.gov, but we just figured if you're already on our website, we can give you one less step to take. We answer those questions right here for you. People want to know, will this information, uh, the, so when you order your test, you give your address, that will not affect your social benefits or immigration status. The information is only used to send you some test kits and that is it. Um, we have information on shipping. Uh, these are being sent out by USPS. Um, and so we have information on who is shipping that, how they're going to do it, um, and the information that you can only right now order one test at a time. And then we also have some links to some CDC information on um, what is a rapid at home test. You know, it's different from a PCR lab test. So we have some information here. And as you click each of these headings, there will be drop down uh, where you can have more information. And very recently, we've also added this new section, which is flyers, videos, and social media. And so Notra created some flyers, uh, which we have currently translated, pardon the helicopter in the back, <laughs> if you can hear that. Um, we have currently translated into English, Spanish, and Arabic. And so the two flyers we have now are four ways to help people uh, get free rapid uh, tests. Oh, I cannot see this because of Zoom. Drop that down. So if you go over to this, you can find, um, there's information about the four ways you can currently access tests, and that is covidtest.gov. You can also use your Medicaid chip, and as of last week, Medicare as well, to uh, cover um, COVID tests and get reimbursement. You can also visit community-based testing sites. So if you click on this link, you'll be taken to the CDC site where you can enter your zip code and find all the local community testing sites. 
And you can also enroll in Operation Expanded Testing. Uh, and it's called OPET, where you can make your site, be it a homeless shelter, a school, an HBCU, a local testing site. Um, so we have all of that information. For anyone who might be reaching out to people about this opportunity, we've created a lovely little script so you can read it directly. And this is again available in English, Spanish, and Arabic. And we also have a telehealth helpline uh, that we partner with Dia de la Mujer Latina. And so they have created a phone number where if you are a CHW trying to help someone or yourself, please call this number. They are still taking calls and they can help you access it if you are having any trouble. And then this one is um, just a presentation on this opportunity. So it's about covidtest.gov. So it's, what is this? Um, where can you place your orders? How many tests come in an order? And there's also a little blurb that we include the importance of why we really want to get these tests into the hands of CHWs and community-based organizations. So um, this is really good to have. It has our direct link on here. And again, it also has our partners that we are currently working with on this initiative. So that's that about uh, COVID test or natural.org slash COVID test. Oh, and at the bottom, there are additional resources, including the recent statement about uh, covering over the counter tests through Medicare. So if you were just coming to natural.org and that's www.nachw.org, this is what our website looks like. So right now we are really pushing for people to place their orders. So if you click here, you'll be directed to covidtest.org um, or .gov, pardon me. Um, but usually this is where it starts. So you'll usually see this <laughs> when we are not pushing people to place their orders. Um, and on here is some information about Nacho, our mission, our values, how you can partner, uh, investing and if you are not a member or somebody who just wants to keep up with what we're doing you can place your email in here and that will subscribe you to receive our monthly newsletter as well as any email blast that we send out to the general public uh, that does not include our members only newsletter that is simply for people who hold, who hold membership so you can also click on our about page um, so our about page gives a little more in-depth uh, look into Nachua's history uh, and again, our vision and our mission. And then this is also where you can find out about our, about our board members. So there's some information about the demographics of our board. Um, and then we also have information about our committees and you can click here to learn more about the committees. So what each of them do, what their goals are. So each of our committees spent some time describing what their goals for 2022 are. So you can learn here, and then you can also find that information if you're in about, you can hover down and click Nacho Committees and that'll take you to the same place. And then you can also learn about our team. Uh, so this includes our newest team members who are also on this list. So you know, if you wanna read about our executive director, Denise Smith, you just click on read bio and you can learn a little more about her. And you can do the same with all of our other board members on this page. So this is the about page. You can also go to our COVID-19 resources page. So on here, we have our resources divided into the different initiatives that we work with. So there's the Vaccine Equity Resource Repository, which Aurora had uh, mentioned earlier with the Vaccine Equity Cooperative. Uh, we have some resources that we published and created uh, internally. And then we also have some that are presented by our partners. So you can click on here. So here is a two pager that you can get and it's about our COVID-19 partnerships and initiatives. So it's a nice summary document and it's just a two pager and a cover page. But <laughs> if you go through here, you can click on it. So many, there's webinar recordings that are about COVID-19 and especially about COVID-19 as it pertains to community health workers. So please come through on this page and learn more and access these resources. They're yours to download and use. And then we also have our um, NCERN, which is the National COVID-19 Resiliency Network, um, which Aurora talked about a little earlier as well in the presentation. Um, and so this is on here. There are some uh, information about the objectives and priorities. There was an environmental scan that came out of this project. And so you can access all of it here. And you can also see a thank you to our liaison. So these were our community uh, engagement liaisons.
under policies, this is where you can access the policy platform that Andrew was talking about. So uh, we worked on this document uh, with a lot of other organizations and 30 CHW associations as well. Um, and so we've created this document, which comes in English and Spanish, which is our national policy platform. So you can access this document. It's six pages long on here. And the same language, this, this paragraph and link are here in Spanish right below. And when you click it, it just takes you to the Spanish version. So we are working on translating our site and a lot of these documents into other languages. So we are definitely aware of the uh, linguistic needs of our community and we are working to expand that as soon as possible. We also have those policy reports uh, that fall under the Document Resource Center project. So on here, you can click through on any of these reports uh, and it'll take you to a full PDF, which you can just download with this button, you can print, whatever you need to do, but this is really great uh, informing the policy updates as it pertains to CHWs and the workforce uh, statewide and nationally. So these documents are all here. Please, I really recommend giving them a read. We have a great uh, report on sustainable financing of community health workers. Um, and so there's a brief, there's a full report, and there was a wonderful um, webinar that was uh, presented by Carl Rush, who was an author on this piece. And during that webinar, we had a lot of questions that were answered. So I do recommend reading this, especially if you are working within policy or on hiring um, and retaining community health workers. And then there is also a link to our document resource center here. And then we have our CHW standards and the C3 and other information and projects here. And then we have our document resource center. So this is kind of a database, uh, the nation's largest database, and it's a collection of documents and policies around CHWs. Um, and so if you scroll down right here, go to resource center. If you want to enter it, you just answer a quick question, whether this is your first time in the document resource center. Uh, if you click yes, we just want to know what kind of work do you do? What state do you live in? So we can see uh, where we're getting engagement and how we can continue to uh, input documents that are relevant. And if it's not your first time, you just click no. And then you go to the document resource center. Um, and in here, there is a glossary of filter terms, which is incredibly useful. Um, and then you can start looking at documents within here, or you can start searching as well if you're looking for something in particular. So highly recommend it. It's a very useful tool. We also have our membership page. So on this page, you can learn about the benefits of membership. You can also click here to learn about individual membership. So you can download this and send this to anyone else who is looking for membership. Or if your organization is willing to pay for your membership, you can send that over and show them all the benefits. Same with organizational membership. And you can just come down here and look at this. I'm gonna move a little fast because I realize <laughs> we're getting close to time today. Um, and then we also have under membership our CHW networks and training programs. So let's say you know someone who's interested in becoming a CHW or you are a CHW and you're looking to connect with your local association. We have our known associations by state on this uh, page and you can click through and go to their website. Please, if you look at this and there is a new or existing um, association that you know about that is not on the list, please, please send that to us. We are happy to include any and all associations on this page. And if you are looking for certification and training programs, these are also listed by state um, and you can find usually links to it. And there's also usually a contact person that you can email. And we also have the uh, Nacho CHW network resources page. So this is if you want to join our network calls, if you are looking to partner with Nacho in some way, this is where you would go for all of the information. Um, and you can always reach out to one of us. So you can reach out to Angie for the network calls and you can always email us as well on the info email should you need more assistance. We also have our news page. So this is where we announce any projects that are going on, um, reports, when we have reports, when we're hiring, this is where we put stuff. So please come, come through and check out the news page and it, is, it stands like a blog. So you can scroll through as well and see what we have been doing. Events, no events today, but <laughs> if you had come here yesterday, you would have seen the new member webinar. Uh, so this is where any events live. So as soon as we have the learning collaborative registration live, 
that will be right here. So you don't have to go looking for it. You just go straight to events and that learning collaborative registration will be in here. And then you can also click on connect and that has a list of our social media. We are on multiple platforms. And then you can also, if you need to email us, you put in your name, email address. And then if you click on this drop dropdown, uh, you can let us know what your email is about. So we have three big buckets. And then if it's about something unrelated to this, you are more than welcome to click other, put in the message and hit send message. And this will be received by Peter uh, and any of our other team members at info at natua.org. Great, so that is the general page. As a member, you are going to hit login when you want to get into the member dashboard. So I'm gonna put in my email. So you're gonna put in your email and your password. If you have forgotten your password, you're just gonna click down here and it'll walk you through instructions where it'll send you a temporary password. You put it in and then you're able to uh, create a new one that you can use permanently. So when you log in, you will not see any of this. I see that just because I'm an administrator on the site, but you will see this members area up here. And so you can click on that and this takes you to the members area. So there is a welcome video from Wandi Hernandez Gordon, who is our chair of the board. There is a new member toolkit uh, where you can click here and you get information on Nachua. There's presentations, there's uh, links to other organizations as well as some social media. So that's if you wanna share with other people about your membership. And you can go here to our member directory. So this is where you can see other people who are current members. So if you know someone, you can type their name in. I'll try not to go too much so we don't see other people's information, but you can also click and pick them by area of expertise. So this is why it's incredibly important for you to update your profile and let us know where you work so that other CHWs can find you as well. Um, and that would be on the far end here, you would click edit profile, and then you would put in like where you work, all that information, and then your areas of work, areas of expertise. And then we have a please tell us about yourself. So that's why it's incredibly important for you to fill that out. It also helps us learn what our members are up to and where we can fill in the need for more resources. We also have some resources here. Uh, there's a free community health worker self-care workshop. You can download things here. Um, so you can go through and look uh, and you can also upload something if you would like it shared with other members opportunities. So here um, you will find uh, job openings, which we often post to on the members only back end. So here are some open roles that we have posted. So you click read more and uh, sometimes it'll be an email address for someone or it'll be a link directly to this website. So this is a great place for you to come if you're looking for any opportunities and jobs that are pertinent to our workforce. Events, again, you will click here and there'll be some events. Uh, some events are members only, so you would be required to log in to access the registration. So even if they're um, listed on the external event side, it'll say, this is members only, please log in. And again, I have already shown you, you're gonna click edit profile and change anything. This is also where if you are looking to figure out your membership, um, if you click right here, I will not click on it, otherwise you will see my address and credit card info, but um, if you click on it, it'll tell you the date of your membership renewal, and then you can also change your credit card information if you need to, you can change your address, all of that stuff is in here, and if your membership lapses for any reason, you can also come in here and restart your subscription if you would like to remain a member. And that is the walkthrough. If anyone has any questions, please let me know and I can go over any part again if you need me to as well.